Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we truly get the battle fever on as it is just three days away from the return of the old firm in the SPL. In this old firm game, we hope to see more of this from Miller. Fires it again, takes a touch. Jamie Miller! And more of this from Mackay. Oh, good change of direction, Barry Mackay as well. Takes a deflection! What a Barry Mackay! Now, clearly the newspapers have been feeling the battle fever too, as they've been dominating headlines with. Rangers and Celtic news, such as Sviatchenko spoke out. He said, and I quote, as you can see on the screen, we have Rangers on the run. Now, whilst as a Rangers fan, I do feel slightly anxious about the game, I do not think that the team or the fans are on the run whatsoever. Walton even gave the advice to the player saying, just treat it as an experience and enjoy the game. That does not to me sound like a, uh, the words of a manager who feels like he is on the run. Barton, uh, and, uh, Barton and Brown have also been uh, a bit of a, a hot topic photo on Facebook with Scott Brown putting Barton in a headlock, which is a statement of how they're meant to perform on the day of the old firm. Now, talking about Barton, would you play him in midfield? Would you start him? Personally, I'm not so sure. Obviously, as he was Burnley's player of the season last year, obviously, as he was Burnley's player of the season last year in the championship. Even the fact that he's played for Newcastle, Marseille and Man City does state the class of player that he is. However, he has not had a great start for Rangers this season and that's obvious to see. Wolverton said it was due to his fitness, but what we need against Celtic is a fully fit, on-form team. So I'm not sure if Barton would quite fit into that, but I think if there's anyone who's going to step up and play on the day, it would either be Barton or Halliday. Now Andy Halliday, back in May, dominated the midfield of that Rangers Celtic game. It was an absolute joy to watch him play. I haven't seen him play quite as well since, uh, as he's been a consistently good player with a couple of mediocre, borderline bad performances. But Halliday, as I said, hasn't been playing so well lately. But the last time he played against Scott Brown, he had him in his back pocket. So there's another good option there with Andy Halliday, which is a good shout. So I'd say the two midfielders that I would say would be in with a shout of starting in each other's positions, bear in mind would be Barton or Halliday. See, Rossiter has already established himself as a class player in the Rangers shirt. However, I think he's just slightly too young to start the game. Maybe he'll come on later on in the game, but I just think he's slightly too young to start the game. Uh, he hasn't had enough experience under his belt, particularly for a big game like this. I'm not too sure how he'd deal with the pressure. Um, Ali McCoist, unfortunately, has also been in the news. I wouldn't normally say unfortunately about Ali McCoist being in the news, but in this case, unfortunately, he has been in the news. As you can see on the screen now, he stated Rangers are still two or three years away from winning the title. Now that shows a man who has no confidence in us whatsoever, from a man that needs to have confidence in us. As the fans, we recognise him as one of our club icons. Some of the fans don't like him so much anymore because of his time as a manager, etc. That's, enough, that's all that I'm going to talk about that subject because that does hurt quite a bit, but I'll leave you to discuss that in the comments below. Now the Daily Record also posted uh, stats about the Manchester derby and the Glasgow derby. The stats being that Manchester City and Man United get paid 33 million between them for their derby from Sky Sports. Now, whenever Rangers versus Celtic play, we get paid 330k between us. That shows you the divide between uh, the, the class of the Premier League and Scottish League, not in terms of the class of players, but the class of how they get their players. If they're getting sponsorships like this, no wonder their league is so far ahead of ours. How are we meant to catch up? But if you have any ideas on how the Scottish League could maybe catch up to the English Premier League, then comment them in the description down below. At the moment, unless there's huge investments, uh, I can't personally see it myself. Also, make sure that you check out the pages that will be in the description. The Blue Sea of Ibrox on Facebook and also Rangers fan page on Instagram. They are two cracking pages of what they do and that I've been following for quite a while now. Um, not only this, but also follow our Twitter. The link, the link will be in the description down below and also... The name will be on the screen somewhere. Uh, that's it for now until Friday. See you next time.